Lindsay. And I'm Steven, and you're watching Cars Cast Weekly. Well, Cars.com was at the DC Auto Show this week, handing out awards, and the 2009 Hyundai Genesis was the big winner. What we like about the Genesis is that not only is it incredibly large and luxurious inside, it's also very quiet. And that's a little surprising because it's got a V6 and a V8 that are more powerful than its competitors, but get better gas mileage. Our congratulations to Hyundai. Meanwhile, Nissan wants to keep people from driving the wrong way. What does that mean? It means that every once in a while, someone will get on a highway off-ramp going the wrong way. Nissan is developing a system that would alert drivers to the danger, although it seems like this is what we have eyes and road signs for. Typically, the kind of drivers who do get onto highways driving in the wrong direction are intoxicated, and in this case, a warning light doesn't seem like it would be nearly adequate. Cars.com has put together its list of the best cars for $10,000. After judging a list of 225 contenders based on criteria like safety, gas mileage, and cabin comfort, we narrowed it down to the 10 best. Notable picks were the 2009 Nissan Versa with its interior space and top safety scores, and the 2005 Ford Escape with standard anti-lock brakes and good gas mileage. See, now that's useful. Under the category of really, why, we have Bentley's new biofuel racer. The luxury automaker claims that the yet-to-be-named vehicle will be its fastest ever, which means it will be able to top the Continental GT speed, which is a top speed of 202 miles per hour and can get from 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds. Here's our question though. Does a car that can go over 200 miles per hour really need green street cred? Do the obscenely rich buy extravagant and unnecessary cars because they're powered by switchgrass instead of gas? What if you were obscenely rich and into green cars, like Brad Pitt? <laughs> That's an entirely different frame of reference. If I were Brad Pitt, I doubt I'd be an anchor on Cars Cast Weekly. Oh, so it's a win for both of us. Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. For Cars Cast Weekly, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Steven, and until next time, Brad Pitt, do you want to trade places with me? For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires.